and thrillers to period pieces and award-winning blockbusters, Savannah is truly the Hollywood of the South. We've actually had have had a really rich um, film history going back to the 19 teens. Luciana Spraker is the director of the City of Savannah Municipal Archives. Part of her job, collecting, managing, preserving and documenting Savannah's history. And with somewhere in the neighborhood of a thousand or so films and shows set or shot here, it's a major part of the city story. When you start digging in, there's a lot more back there. It's not just a new phenomenon that Savannah's experiencing. The Savannah Regional Film Commission recently announced that the entertainment production industry generated nearly $207 million in direct spending in the Savannah region in 2022. But over the years, the exposure Savannah gets on the big and little screens priceless. Thousands of visitors flock to the hostess city each year to experience a piece of the movie magic, whether that's seeing a bench once occupied by Forrest Gump or taking a walk in the Garden of Good and Evil. Savannah's movie magic not only casting a spell on fans, but the stars as well. The late Burr Reynolds made six films in the Peach State, including The Longest Yard and Gator here in Savannah. Now, he was a legend that still looms large today. Reynolds love for Savannah shown in this gazebo in Whitfield Square, a thank you gift from the Hollywood legend to Savannah. Burt Reynolds was both the director and the star and um, several people in Savannah had, you know, bit ro roles, um, walk-ons and one of them was um, Mayor John Rusakis at the time and so this is a gator belt buckle that he was given as a souvenir as a thank you for his participation.